In this chapter, we'll understand Python's type annotations. So type annotations in Python are just expected types of the variables in our code. They are also known as type hints because they tell the user what type of data is expected for each variable. So to understand the type annotation in detail, let's take a look at this example. So here we have a simple function called compute tax and it takes two inputs. One is called salary and another one is called tax rate. And it returns just the multiplication of tax rate with salary. Just by looking at this code, we may think uh, salary is uh, an integer. It could be, let's say, $100,000. And tax rate, sometimes we uh, people say tax rate is in, um, let's say, my tax is 40% uh, or 30%, something like that. But what we need in this function is not, not the actual uh, the integer, which is like 30 or 40. It has to be a float. Because uh, as you can see, I'm computing the tax by multiplying uh, the salary with the tax rate, which is which should be in float. Now, just by looking at this code, it's not very much clear. But if I can mention something like the salary is an integer and um, the tax rate is a float, then the users can easily understand, oh, OK, this tax rate should be something like um, 0.45 or 0 0.30, something like that. Otherwise, they may not know exactly like what should be the exact uh, input like tax rate they might say 40 or 30 and then the calculation will be wrong so the python will not give any error but it will just give the wrong answer right so this is the advantage of uh, using type annotation so so basically the type annotation uh, uh, helps the user to understand uh, what's going on or understand what kind of input the code or the function is uh, taking in and they are very much useful for uh, readability and understanding of the code but like i said even with this type of annotations we might make mistakes so for example if somebody provides an integer to uh, uh, the tax rate it will still work like for example let me uh, just show it to you if, for example if i say print compute um, tax of uh, let's say it's a hundred comma ten so uh, for both salary and tax rate i'm providing integers uh, but uh, the uh, and the code will still work as, as you can see it shows thousand so what is happening is that python will not really care about these uh, type annotations uh, during runtime so it is just for human readability it will not be used uh, for anything or it will not be uh, the, this information will not be used during the runtime of our uh, code. So in fact, Python does not even um, um, uh, use these annotations. Uh, so uh, for anything uh, except for uh, the readability. So these, these annotations will be stored in the annotation group, but uh, they will not be used for anything. Now uh, we can. Uh, we have uh, there are uh, tools such as uh, static code analyzer tools like mypy and pylint so we can make use of those uh, to uh, to check the type hints of each variable and see if we are providing the correct uh, uh, correct variables or uh, using the correct variables or not uh, those we will see in the in the coming lectures uh, but uh, just so you know that if you just use the code as it is with the type hints it will not have any effect on the code uh, it is only for human readability. Now let's take another uh, example and see, uh, uh, or uh, another good example and see how uh, these uh, type annotations are useful. So I, here I have an example uh, where uh, the function takes a list uh, called fruits and uh, returns a dictionary uh, counts, which is uh, basically a mapping of the the fruit um, fruit uh, name to its uh, count and the written is a dictionary so if i just give the code like this you may have to like read the code um, and then only uh, you can uh, then then you will understand okay the code is doing this so but beforehand you will not know what the code uh, what the input to the code is like for example i can say i mean based on the name you might guess but the fruit has to be a list of strings and the return has to be a dictionary of uh, string and integer. Now, uh, this is uh, for easy for me because I wrote the code, but if someone else is reading this code, it may be difficult for them to understand. So what do we do? We can use the, the type hints uh, for, um, for uh, 
type ints in this scenario and make the code much uh, much more readable like for example uh, I, I can use the typing module typing module and import list and dictionary now uh, so as i know uh, okay i think we should write like this so from typing import list and dictionary uh, so since i know fruits is a list of um, strings i can say fruit is list of strings and um, i know that the output should be dictionary so i can use i output uh, typing here as well like we can write the input we can annotate the inputs uh, uh, of the of the function and i can also annotate uh, the output output of this function so the return is uh, counts as you can see here it's a dictionary and i can say uh, list of um, str to print and now uh, this looks much better because uh, i know what type of data I, uh, the, the count fruit function is expecting and what the output of the the function is now uh, if i uh, run this this will uh, work as you can see it returns a dictionary with um, with all the um, all the keys and uh, values now uh, there is uh, also one thing you can also annotate this uh, variables like for example i should say i can say okay this is list of string uh, but these are very uh, rare uh, people really don't want to annotate these uh, variable initializations and so on uh, because they don't uh, really um, they are not really useful here because as you as you, uh, as you know fruits even without this you can clearly say it's a list of uh, strings so you don't really need a uh, annotation uh, or a type hint to tell that so don't do uh, these things like if you are if you are uh, so don't, so what i'm trying to say don't overdo the annotation the type annotations so it's good to have uh, type hints for these um, places where uh, it's difficult to understand the code but uh, that doesn't mean you have to go and annotate each and everything in our uh, code base right and this is this example is clearly a useless idea and um, like i mentioned the input variables can be annotated output variables can also output uh, is also annotated so it's a good thing uh, now uh, now what are the advantages of uh, or benefits of using these uh, type annotations so so first thing is uh, autocomplete so i'll i'll show you uh, uh, how uh, this autocomplete feature is very much useful with this example so here i have um, i am importing a date time module and i have a function called what time and uh, i am taking a variable called my time so i really don't know what it is but uh, but i mean if i don't provide a typing annotation i don't know what it is but here i am providing the typing uh, or type hint it is basically date time dot date time uh, object now uh, if i for example write like this if i just start writing this uh, my type variable it shows me all the features or all the functionalities available in the daytime module. So uh, this is really useful because uh, you can easily uh, understand or you can easily find out all the functionalities for this uh, variable because I know or the the, the VS code or uh, what I'm using here knows that my time should be a daytime dot daytime object. Right? This is really useful if, if you are uh, when you are when you are coding, right? So this autocomplete feature is one, and the second. Uh, second feature is the type checkers so like i mentioned before um, if you just use the type ints as it is in our code they may not have a um, good effect or they may not be useful very much uh, other than just the human's uh, readability um, even if we pass in wrong data type the code will still work i mean that doesn't i mean that means that clearly says the code is still not a robust uh, code so there are tools such as uh, the static code analysis tools like MyPy, PyLint, Flake 8, etc. And these are type checkers. So these, uh, if you use uh, these static code analysis tools, uh, they, they will strictly honor the, the type annotation. So we can make you make sure that our code is honoring the, the type annotations we want to use by using, uh, by, by uh, running these type checkers or running these static code analysis tools on our code. Right. So, uh, for example, let's say uh, I use this. Um, um, I go back and use this code I have because um, we wrote this uh, before. Uh, so we have a input uh, 
input variable called fruit and it's a list of string and output variable which is a dictionary is a string and uh, integer and um, for example uh, let's say by mistake i change uh, the the count the return of uh, uh, the return when i say the return uh, whatever i'm returning with the function uh, from count which is a dictionary to let's say list now if i pass in this data for example this fruits data and if i try to print uh, the output uh, sorry fruits if i run this code uh, it will work i mean it just returns a list now instead of uh, a dictionary uh, but my my type hint is saying you should get a dictionary not a list but even though I, uh, I don't have that um, that uh, output, like I have only list instead of dictionary, the code is running and it's not throwing any error, it's not throwing any warnings, anything. So how do we? Uh, uh, so so here is where we can make use of my mypy, which is uh, one of the static code analysis tool. So we can just install mypy using pip install mypy, and if you try uh, mypy, and if you use this uh, mypy to run on this code uh, this my pi tool uh, to run on this python file so uh, it's taking a while uh, to run mm, let's see what the output will be so essentially it should throw an error saying uh, you are you should uh, return a list of uh, uh, i don't know okay yeah yeah i think it uh, gave an error or it showed an error so it says uh, um, counts is uh, where annotated um, and uh, the other one is incompatible return value got list of string expected uh, dictionary of SA. so this is the error i was uh, talking about so i am uh, uh, the output i'm expecting is actually a dictionary of a string and uh, uh, this this is the output i'm expecting um, but i got a list of strings so there is some um, um, there is some um, uh, mismatch in the output uh, for output uh, types. So how do we fix that? I can simply uh, check this code and uh, change it back counts. And if I run this, hopefully I should not get an error. I am uh, getting an error. Uh, so the error is uh, need type annotation for counts. So um, let's see uh, counts. Uh, is a default dictionary. Uh, let's just say it's a dict. And if I try this, let's see. Okay, no issues found. So uh, I mean, if it is necessary, you can provide. But uh, if not, you can simply um, just um, use this. Uh, so uh, I mean, you don't. Uh, so so that is about uh, the the type hints. So so there are uh, like uh, like uh, we were discussing. There are mainly two benefits uh, on uh, using this type checkers or, um, or using this uh, type hints or type annotations. One is the, the uh, auto completion uh, feature and the second one is uh, type checkers. Uh, it's useful for static code analysis tools. And um, there are um, times or there are um, uh, situations where you should not use or there are, you, should, you, you should use type checkers and you should not use type checkers. So one of the common uh, place where you should use uh, type checkers is uh, if you are um, if you have let's say functions that are expecting API calls um, or the entry points to your functions, um, like something like uh, RPC, GRPC or uh, like a Flask uh, Web API. And uh, uh, when uh, or the other place is where when you want to highlight. Um, um, the in the code uh, that okay there is a place where you have to be very careful about a particular type you are uh, passing into the function so those are the cases so this is uh, the just the beginning of uh, the type checker so i just showed you the two functionalities or two uh, uh, functions like list and dictionary in uh, typing module but there are many others uh, which you will see in the later uh, later uh, classes thank you so much for listening to this uh, uh, video if you like it please give a thumbs up and if you have any question please uh, feel free to write them in comment section i'll try to answer them and uh, i will see you guys in the next video